Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Pop. This video tutorial in Ubuntu Basics shows you how you can manage frames, images, and captions, and all of their sizes in an EPUB using Calibre. I've got Calibre open, and I am going to open up an EPUB, and then I am going to open up its editor so that you can see how all of this works. I have the line for the EPUB highlighted. I brought it in as an ODT file here over in the left where it says add books. That brings in the ODT file and once the ODT file is in then you hit convert and then after a few minutes it converts it into an EPUB. When you tap on this EPUB you can read it with the reader that comes with caliber and I'm going to go over to the next screen where I have this. This is the title page, and in order to step through the pages of the EPUB that you are reading, you use your right arrow. And that is the very first page which has the title, and in blue there, that is chapter one. I also in this book have sub chapters, and when you open up the table of contents you can see that the sub chapters have are hidden underneath the arrows the uh, arrows are the main h1 chapters and then when you tap on these you see underneath the h2 sub chapters and that's how sub chapters work the ones in blue i have them in blue are h1 the ones in red are the sub chapters H2. Let me go to the beginning of it again and you'll see I have a frame and it's got a black border around it and it's uh, got a yellow background and the corners are rounded. And if you go through the book you will see that I've got pictures with frames around them also. And some of them are half size, some of them are quarter size, and some are full screen width. Perhaps you have read EPUBs where when you see pictures they are altogether too small and you try to enlarge them and they don't enlarge. Well the reason they do not enlarge is that that particular EPUB that you are reading does not have the picture set as a percentage. It's set at a certain size and it will get no larger. And in this one, I've got this set at 50%. And you'll notice that this yellow frame is halfway over. It's right in the middle, right here. And if I get rid of the table of contents, it's still halfway over. Well, let me go over uh, to the editor in a, in a minute, but let me go down and I'll show you some pictures. This picture has a bottom caption, and the caption is located uh, to the left and again, this one has two captions. The captions are on the top and the bottom with a picture in the center. The pictures are 100% the width of the frame. Some of them are not. I do have some where the pictures are 50% of the frame and then the caption goes over to the right. We'll just have to go through and find some. Here's just a frame that does not have any picture, just the caption. I'm just going to flip through till I find some. Uh, here's one where the picture is very long and narrow and the caption goes to the right of it. Uh, you can change this around and I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Here are some more captions to the right. And these are 25% of the width of the page. Now, you might be tempted to leave all of them the same. And if you do that and they're all 50% width, then you have a problem because if it is a long picture, the picture will extend over the bottom of the screen and you can't have that. So in some cases, you will need to make the picture smaller so that they're not altogether too large for whatever screen is being read. This is a matter of personal taste, moving the things around like that. 
Let me now go over to the editor. The editor, you would right click and then go down to where it says edit book. And I've already got it open. It's over here. This is the editor and there are three panels. The panel over on the left shows the text and when you when you find uh, something that you want to read it shows up over here on the right and it shows up here in the center. The center shows the text and the instruction set and over on the right this is more or less 80 90 percent of what you would see on any EPUB reader. But it's not exactly the same in every case. There will probably be some differences. Now, that is the text, but I also want to show you the cascading style sheets and how that works for the frames. Here we have H1, and they are in blue. And I've also got H2 and H2 is in red but you can change that to anything you want and you can change whether or not it's italicized, bold, the the size of the text and so so forth. I have got a bunch of settings for pictures and also for frames and you do not have to have an extremely lengthy cascading style sheet because the frames can be, in general, put all together. The common instructions for all sizes frames are located right here. So this is a frame left 50%, frame right 50%, frame left 25%, frame right 25%, 10%. And these are the common instructions right here. But the things that are particular to that one exact size frame, I put in here. So the 50, I said 50%. The frame left 25 is 25%. But up here in the common instructions, there are there is nothing that says how wide they are, how big they are. Down here I put in a border radius of 10 pixels and that that's what gives you your round frame. You don't have to do that. You can make them really really big too and then they look crazy. Let me change it to 20. See it gets too round looking for me. That's 50. Wow, I don't like it. 10 is fine or 0. There's 0. Uh, it's personal preference. I have got the frames of a certain size. And the text goes inside the frames. And the pictures go inside the frames. So let me now go up to the pictures and I'll show you what those look like. Those were frames. And then G is graphics. Graphics, images, and pictures are the same thing. And I just started calling them dot G. I've got this one, G99, that's the whole length of the screen, the whole width of the, of the frame. G75, G50, G25, and G10. So remember, if I put a picture inside, the frame is set in certain size. It's either half a screen or a quarter of a screen or a whole screen. But then the picture inside of that is either half of the frame, quarter of the frame, and so on. And that way I can go read my book and I'll say, you know, that just doesn't look right. And I can change it on the fly. And I'm going to do that now. I'll show you uh, how that appears. This is the first page here. Let me go down and see what we got. Okay, this is the very first picture in the book. And when you tap on it, the center section goes to where you just tapped. So right here, if I tap on the uh, paragraph that follows this frame and picture, I went down, see? Uh, and here is the picture and the frame. Now, I've got division, class, no break. This 
no break that I put in here refers to an instruction I said will make a new page every time you come to a frame and that way the caption and the picture and the frame are never cut horizontally in two. Inside of that division I've got FL50. So it's a frame, it's to the left, and it's half a screen. And that's hard to see when you have three screens here. Let me move this over. But it is in fact half a screen. But let's say I change it and I'm going to make this frame, the top one there, the one that's blue, a quarter. It gets smaller now, you see. But the picture still fills the frame. That's because I did not goof with the picture. I just goofed with the frame. Because if you go down here, it says that the picture is 100%. Uh, well, I put 99. Um, what I could do, I could try doing this. Uh, I'll go back up to the frame and make it 50 again, the way it was and it jumps. But now if I go to my picture itself and change it from 100% of the frame to 50% of the frame, now you see what happens. It moves, it moves the caption over to the right. And if you like that, great. If you don't like that, change it back the way it was. And that's, that's an easy way to visually edit your EPUB. And I'm going to go down now and just flip through and just see what's cool. And uh, most of these are the same. Now this, this is the first chunk. And you can actually go through your entire book and read it this way. You can actually edit your entire book. Let me go back to the editor here. Now I'm going to the second chunk. And there's nothing there. The next chunk. I wanted to point out that in your word processor, you may be tempted to do underlining and bold and such things as that. It's best not to. If you have a view in mind of creating an EPUB, that's your ultimate goal. Just forget about the word processor. Use the EPUB. In other words, if you want to underline something right here, the thing to do is go up and put in bold, italic, and underline in caliber. And that way you've got a whole lot less complex looking code. The code can get very difficult if you use the word processor coding. If you use the EPUB to do these things, it's very clean. Let's go to the next one. If you do not like this one, you might say, well, you know what? It just doesn't look right. I'm going to change it. So this thing's 25%. Let's make it 50 and it jumps. But now the text looks too small. Hmm. So let's put the text underneath. Change it to 99 on the picture. Wow. See? Won't fly. The long skinny bottle is way, way too long. So let's try making this small again. Well, it's all right. Do I have a frame that's 10? Let me see. Yes, I do, but now that's even worse. So if you do not like it, you do not have to erase and retype. You can instead hit Control Z. Eventually, you're going to get to where you were. And there you are. That is pretty much all I wanted to talk about in this particular tutorial. It is how you can 
use the cascading style sheets to control the size of the pictures, the captions, and the frames. You can, of course, also put in pictures without any frames. And that's easy enough to do. You just don't put in any frames around the pictures. Then the pictures just show up by themselves. My name is Pop, and I have a whole bunch of tutorials on YouTube uh, called Ubuntu Basics, and I am right now goofing with Caliber and EPUBs, and I thank you very much.